There's some more room right here if somebody wants to squeeze past. Good morning. We're a huge crowd here. The United States, along with 54 co-sponsors who joined me in this statement and 40 who are here at the stakeout, believe that artificial intelligence, or AI, has enormous potential to shape our economies, society, and the world for the better, and that we must ensure these benefits extend across the globe to countries at all levels of development. For that reason, the United States, with broad consensus from member states, has introduced a United Nations General Assembly resolution for consideration that aims to articulate a shared approach to AI systems. The resolution calls on member states to promote safe, secure, and trustworthy AI systems to address the world's greatest challenges, including those related to poverty, poverty elimination, global health, food security, climate, energy, and education. We're resolved to bridge the artificial intelligence and other digital divides between and within countries through capacity building, increasing digital literacy, and other actions. Consensus on this important topic could help extend the benefits of AI to member states across all regions and development levels in support of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. The text also establishes a shared vision that AI systems should be human-centric, reliable, explainable, ethical, inclusive, privacy-preserving, and responsible, with a sustainable development orientation and in full respect, promotion, and protection of human rights and international law. And it affirms principles that will help make this vision a reality. As AI technologies rapidly develop, there is urgent need and unique opportunities for member states to meet this critical moment with collective action. We have and will continue to engage with all stakeholders in this process, including members of the private sector, the technical community, civil society, and academia. And we urge all member states to join more than 60 co-sponsors in co-sponsoring and supporting the adoption of this resolution. I would now like to turn the floor over to my colleague, Ambassador Omar Halal from Morocco. Thank you very much, dear Linda. Morocco is pleased to be one of the initial co-sponsors of the resolution entitled Sizing the Opportunities of Safe, Secure, and Trustworthy Artificial Intelligence System for Sustainable Development that was initiated by the permanent mission of the United States. We are also proud to join the statement, the joint statement on this very important topic. In fact, as it has been just rightly uh, flagged by uh, Ambassador Linda, the potential of artificial intelligence to accelerate human development is huge. At the same time, it is important to be aware of the malicious use of this technology, which can have very serious consequences for global peace and security and development. Therefore, Morocco strongly commands the United States for the taking the initiative and the lead to present a general assembly resolution on sizing the opportunity of safe, secure, and trans trans 30 artificial intelligence system for sustainable development. And we firmly believe that enhancing dialogue on AA among the UN member states can help ensure that this fast evolving technology serves the common good. In this context of, in the context of this resolution, and with the constructive contributions of all the delegations and co-sponsors involved, Morocco has been emphasizing three key elements. First, that we need to harness artificial intelligence systems that bridge social, digital, and economic divides between developed and developing countries, and not an IA 
that pushes us further apart. Second, that artificial intelligence offers numerous potential benefits for developing countries and particularly for African countries in various fields like health, agriculture, education, climate action, and economic growth. Third, in order to maximize these benefits, collaboration and investment in AA, research and infrastructures are crucial in order to narrow the digital gap between nations. To conclude, I wish to reiterate our congratulations to my dear colleague, Ambassador Linda Thomas-Greenfield and her team for their strong leadership in this process. We are very much looking forward to the adoption of the resolution on the 21st of March and to the largest co-sponsoring of member states. I reiterate Morocco's full support to the extremely important topic of artificial intelligence and the pivotal role of international cooperation in this field to ensure that it serves the common good of humankind. I thank you very much. Madam Ambassador, can't we create... Which ambassador? <laughs> you. <laughs> you. Can't we create a machine to have intelligent people before having artificial intelligence? <laughs> <laughs> well, I am not sure I know the answer to that question. Uh, I think we have to give that uh, question to a greater power. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Uh, Gabriel Zondo from Al Jazeera English. Uh, Ms. Ambassador, I have a question about AI since you're talking about it today. Uh, the Israeli military has confirmed they are using artificial intelligence in targeting in their war uh, in Gaza. Do you condemn that? And will that be taken into your account uh, in this AI resolution? You know, we have been clear that this resolution is about making AI safe and secure and trustworthy. And uh, we have 60 co-sponsors uh, who have signed on to that, including Israel. And I think that as we move forward, we will see AI uh, bridge many of the gaps that uh, we've seen in, uh, in the past. Are you fine with Israel using it in Gaza right now? Uh, that's not for me to comment on. Uh, what I'm here to comment on is to make sure that we develop uh, a resolution that helps us to address this fast-moving uh, development uh, with artificial intelligence. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.